any. Okay. Same as, there's a little hot glue, but same as with the other one. I'm not sure off the top of my head where this is from, so I will find out before I post the video and get all the info. But this is kind of like a sword that looks kind of like a gun. It is made with wood. All of this is wood. I didn't make it a perfectly pointy tip because a lot of places, a lot of conventions won't allow you in if it's too pointy. But I used a metallic silver paint. It's kind of more of a gray. And then um, these embellishments here, this and these, these are Sculpey. And this is Sculpey as well. And the reason I did that is because your hand, you want to go ahead and hold it like a sword. Your hand would be right there, and I thought wood poking you would not be comfortable. So I opted to use Sculpey. So it's it's flexible, but it is on there. It's on there with not only super hot glue, but E6000. And we all know how much I love E6000. But this piece here that looks kind of like a, a gun piece, that is Sculpey. Mm -hmm. And these are also Sculpey. And you can't really tell in the video, but they, they aren't just plain white. I painted them with a white metallic. So, okay, go ahead and model that thing. How do I model a sword? <laughs> Used one. I'm too far away from, or too close to you to be able to. Don't fall off the porch, though. There we go. Now I got you all in there. Yeah, stab, stab. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it looks pretty good. What do you, how does it, it's nice and light. That's, yes. My last piece was much heavier, but this is very light. Definitely kill someone. But... Well, with enough force, you could kill someone with a spoon. There's a wasp on you. Okay, it flew away. Okay. So but yeah, <laughs> thanks to Gabriel and my stepdad, Steve, for all your help. He cuts my wood pieces and, and Gabriel models, so I appreciate it. So thank you to everyone who still watches my videos.